Hello, my name's Jerry. We're gonna head out in the bay today. We're gonna to go for a few squid. We're gonna to put together a few techniques and a few little bits and pieces that will hopefully help you along your way to catching more squid or even better, your first squid. Now, finding squid ground would have to probably be the most important things when it comes to catching squid. So I like to use Google Earth or Maps, which you can get on your phone. You just get into the app, you press satellite, and it'll come up with basically the exact same thing as this. So if I have a look at this area, this is off Mount Eliza. So if I go through to here, that's in around two meters of water, and I know this from my sounder. And then if I go to the edge of the reef here, that's in around six, which comes up quite clear on this app. Now, if you have a look at this little reef here, I'll zoom in. There's one, two, three boats on that reef. I dare say that they are fishing for squid. Now, for the land base guys, not everybody has a boat. So, jump on Google Earth, because as you can see, in areas around here, you can walk this whole rock line surrounded by reef and there is squid all along these edges now that's not just port phillip bay that can be anywhere around australia that holds squid so jump on google earth google maps on your phone and you're sure to find good areas to catch squid so when's the best time to go i think that if you want to fish for squid in areas that aren't that tidal, such as Port Phillip Bay where I fish a lot, I think you can pretty much catch them throughout the whole day. Uh, early morning and late evening, I think, yeah, it'll give you an advantage, but that doesn't mean you won't catch them during the day. Sort of the same goes with in more tidal areas, although you want to fish for the ebb tide, which is the slack, or an hour either side, depending how hard the tide runs in that area. Just wanted to take you through a couple of reads of what to use when fishing with squid jigs. So the first one's very simple, straight to the end of the leader, you want to run about a rod length of leader. The pound depends on where you're fishing and how big the squid are for. So that's your first one, just get that one out. And your second one is a little bit different, it's a Paternoster rig. So you can see there, we've got a sinker and then about a foot of line to the squid jig. Some like to put the squid jig where the sinker is. I like to put it at the end here because I feel that bit of length there lets the squid jig be a little bit more free and more natural in the water. Now there's a couple of reasons why people like to use a paternoster rig. One is for deep water. If you're fishing in water up to 35 metres, the jig on its own just isn't going to cut it. So they put a sinker on it to get it down to the bottom much quicker. Another reason is for the same reason I'm using it right now. I'm drifting, I'm still only in around four metres of water, but because it's quite windy, the drift will cause the jig on its own to float up to the surface and basically skim along the surface. So that sinker helps it get down to the bottom. Half a wind or a wind just off the top and let the boat do the work. Now, jigging on its own, it's quite simple. All you want to do is, is cast it out. So in this case, I'm drifting this way, so I want to cast this way. If I drift that way, the jig isn't going to get down deep enough. So once you've let it sink enough, just wait a few seconds. You just want to give it a few quick jigs, and that's going to imitate a prawn, which we'd love to eat. Once you've done that, let it sink down again and just repeat the process. See here, the drifter is hooked up. 
So I wasn't even doing anything with that jig. So when you're getting them in, uh, you don't fight them like a normal fish. You just want to slowly wind. This one is tiny, but it's still a squid. So, only a baby, still a squid. And this has to be the luckiest squid ever. He's gonna live to see another day. One of the most commonly asked questions I got when I worked in a tackle shop would definitely have to be, what color squid jig should I be using? Now the shop that I worked in had at least a hundred different colours on the wall and I can guarantee you that every single one of those colours will catch squid. Is there better colours? Yeah, I believe so. I think that um, like your red foils, your black, your white, um, this is by far my favourite colour for around the Mornington area that I fish. It's a green with a gold belly. That's a major craft eggy zoe. Um, now your more overcast days, I like to use your sort of more natural colours, so like your brownie sort of colours. I think they give off a, a better silhouette, which helps for the squid to be able to see them. Um, on your brighter days, which today is not too bad, it's quite bright, I like to use your brighter jigs. I believe that the squid can see them from a lot further distance, therefore coming over to come and check it out and hopefully getting a hook up. Thank you.